Hey guys, Dr. Jason Cahill, and today I have Haley with me. And um, as you can see, Haley is very pregnant. And so how many more weeks do you have? Um, I have three weeks left. Three weeks left. So I first met Haley when you were like, I think two, two and a half months pregnant. Yes. And we've been working with Haley ever since doing, we have very specific pregnancy adjustments and protocols that we do um, that I'm actually going to walk you through today. But first of all, um, what have you noticed through pregnancy as far as just kind of the, the changes, the pains, the problems, and what have the adjustments helped you with? Um, so the biggest thing for me, this is my first pregnancy, so I obviously didn't know what to expect <laughs> with my body, but um, is as my little girl has gotten bigger, this gets really, really tight. Um, and so much so that sometimes um, I feel like I can't even stand up straight all the way without being in pain. Um, and so when Dr. Jason does this um, certain, I don't know what you call it, I'll, technique I'll here, it, yeah. it, I feel like I can be a human again and not in pain um, all the time. It just loosens this and then the baby, I feel like the baby has more room to grow. Yeah. And I have room to stand up. <laughs> we see a so. lot of pregnant women in the office. We see a lot of kids. We see um, just, I mean, up to the day of birth, we adjust um, or check babies on the day of birth and then work with mom and baby afterwards. And so there's a lot that we do, but the, I think the big thing is every single pregnancy is different for every single person and individual. Um, everybody has different symptoms, but what we do know is the body throws some crazy curveballs yes. through pregnancy. And so what I'm going to do right now um, with Haley's permission is walk you through what we found is the adjustment for her that works the best. So. So one of the biggest things that um, through pregnancy people have the biggest concern about is how do we take this table and make that happen for comfort. And so with this, we have a table that actually moves like this. So we kind of size up Haley and because she's 37 weeks along, she's definitely gotten a little bit bigger here recently. And so this makes room for the belly. So I'll just have you on your stomach here. And honestly, a lot of moms to be really enjoy this because it's been a very long time since they've had the opportunity to lay on their stomach. So some people like this a lot, some don't, everybody's different. So we figure out, um, get you off your belly as fast as possible, or we can also do this while you're on your back or seated. So there's a lot of different ways of doing it. But what we have found that works the best with Haley is that we do focus a lot on the pelvis and the alignment of the pelvis. Because through pregnancy, you're going through labor, the more aligned that pelvis is, the easier the pregnancy tends to be or the labor tends to be. And so for Haley, we found that using the arthro stem works very well on her pelvis. And as we align this first, it helps for what we're going to do later, which she talked about working the ligaments, called the round ligament, which I'll talk about here in just a moment. Then we come down and work the sacrum and the sacrotuberous ligament as well. And then with most, most moms-to-be, because there's carrying a lot of more weight right here, the mid-back takes a lot of force and, and has a lot of pain and everything starts to roll forward. And so we really focus on keeping her thoracic alignment and mobility throughout pregnancy. sacral traction just to kind of open up that lumbar spine. And once we work on the pelvis and the sacrum, now what we're going to do is have Haley flip over and we're going to work on the, sac or the round ligament down here. So with the round ligament, that is a ligament that goes from the pelvis to the uterus, and it's bilateral. And what we tend to see is 
that gets very, very tight. And when it gets tight, it can pull on that uterus. It can also pull on the pelvis. Not only can it create pain and symptoms, but sometimes it can, it can change the, the way that the baby is laying in there and make the labor even more difficult. For Haley, like she said, she gets a ton of pressure and pain right in there. I'll be the first to tell people this is not that comfortable at all, so her face will grimace. <laughs> she already knows this. We've done it a bunch of times, and it's painful every time, um, but it pays off in the long run, and so it's, it's hate me now, love me later. And so what we do is we find that round ligament, and then I just put a sustained pressure, almost like a trigger point pressure, right into that ligament. And we hold that for about 10 seconds. And then we relax. And while we're doing this, you can actually sometimes feel the baby kick or punch back. Sometimes you can feel the baby shift around a little bit. And a lot of times you can also kind of start to feel a pulse down there and a relaxing of that ligament too. And on Haley, we found that it's really just this right side that is the bad side. So again, what this is doing is when you relax that ligament, when it gets really tight, it'll pull things in every direction and create misalignment, subluxation, a lot of pain and muscle spasm. So when we loosen up that ligament, it helps to loosen everything else. And then the body has this kind of writing reflex where it tries to put everything back into its proper alignment and really just keep her as strong and healthy as possible for these last few weeks before pregnancy. And then once she has the baby, we'll do a totally different reassessment to see how's her body doing post pregnancy and post labor. So there's a lot that goes into this, but it really does keep mom feeling stronger moving forward. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below and we'll get back at you.